did you know Uganda is the second largest producer of bananas in the whole world? We are the second to, to India. Now, uh, that's the country I come from. The problem is that most of these bananas go to waste. There's a lot of post-harvest losses to bananas in Uganda. While other universities are doing full processing technology at Chambogo University, Kampala, Uganda, I decided to solve this problem. How did I do that? I decided to start producing banana fruit juice from locally grown bananas. We have a lot of smallholder farming of bananas. So I started making fruit juice and selling it to my fellow students at the university. And what happened in a period of only one year, my production capacity had grown from 50 liters to 100 liters and just doing it in my bedroom, actually in my hostel. In one year, I was doing all this work in my hostel. Now, I decided to continue doing the business and I finished my university studies in 2015. So, I continue to do the business and right now, two years have passed and my capacity will do 1,500 liters of juice per day. And you know what? Our production capacity has overgrown and we already export to more than three countries in East Africa. We sell in our own country, Uganda. We supply our products to Rwanda. Actually, every supermarket in Chigari town in Rwanda has Uhuru products. That's my product. We supply our products to DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. We started supplying to Sudan, Southern Sudan. And this month, we just signed a contract with a company from Kenya to start supplying our products to Kenya. All this started because I saw an opportunity in agriculture. I saw most of our fruits were going to waste. There is a lot of post-harvest losses. Right now we have, sub we have supported over 500 farmers who supply us all those fruits. I have employed my fellow university graduates. I actually have a company. We don't employ anyone above 30 years. We employ only the youth. So all the youth in Uganda, it is my future, uh, uh, my future opportunity to employ most of them. We have a lot of unemployment in Uganda. So having such a company and as a dream, we are able to give employment to the youth. We have supported farmers. Most of them supply the fruits to us. So we are looking at uh, if, uh, supporting more farmers in Uganda who are growing this, this fruit, this banana, who are growing mangoes. We also make mango fruit juice. We make banana fruit juice. And these products have been a daily to go to option for most middle income class in Uganda and in East Africa. Most of young professionals have a growing desire, a demand for healthy foods and drinks. And that's why our products have always remained uh, the most competitive fruit drinks in the world of East Africa. Most other companies start their products, but because they are not natural, because they are full of flavors, they are, natu they are not natural products. Our products have always have that competing edge. And that's the company that I represent. And I'm the founder and CEO, Tassam Investments Limited, based in Kampara, Uganda. I started from scratch. I started from scratch. I didn't actually use any capital. I looked at a company which was doing some juice in Uganda. And I saw people are buying more of their juice, more than they were buying sodas. So I talked to them and they gave me their juice. I started selling it to the university students. And after two weeks, I made a profit of $130. And that money, I decided to use it to buy my own pineapples, buy bananas, buy mangoes, and started making juice like that. By the time I finished university, I had a capital of $1,000. That is the money I started with after university in 2015. And that's how my company has been growing steadily. I started getting orders from different countries surrounding our country, Uganda, in East Africa. I didn't have money to execute their orders. So I told them, please, you have to give me money. I produce, I give you goods. So they give me money, they do upfront payment. Then I get the production done. After one week, I give them the products. So I'm able to consistently do production like that. And that is the reason why we are actually seeking for more investment into the company. So that customers can always find their goods ready at our company. Not them paying fast. Then we manufacture, we take a lot of time to deliver.